Thierry Seng, Cambodian human rights advocate. Making a difference in your world. Shaped by her country's tragic history, Thierry Seng, as a child, suffered through the Khmer Rouge genocide. She was forced to collect cow dung among mass graves to be used as fertilizer. Both of her parents were killed during that time. In 1980, still a young girl, Thierry escaped to the United States, later becoming a lawyer. Now she is back in Cambodia to help her impoverished country. So for me, it's to take the history, my history which, uh, and the loss of my parents and to shape it and to not let the Khmer Rouge leaders have the better of me by making it into something more hopeful. Thierry heads the Center for Social Development, which works to overcome the legacy of the Khmer Rouge. I can safely say that the Khmer Rouge years have scarred our, our psychology and, where we, and, and the violence is still very much with us and we need to purge that. Thierry now speaks out against genocide elsewhere, here leading a banned demonstration with US actress Mia Farrow protesting the killing in Darfur. And the lawyer is an official civil party to the Khmer Rouge Tribunal, representing ordinary victims. I see um, the opportunity for other voices to join mine, or to create uh, and to enlarge the space where other voices could be in court in addition to mine. She is an activist, author, and most recently a TV show host on a series aimed at promoting youth leadership skills. Really, my, my work here is not to do anything big, but to be a common citizen back in my homeland where I've suffered a lot, and now I'm taking that suffering and shaping it into hope and trying to work with individuals who had not the time and space to heal that I have had. It's been a long journey for Thierry Seng, from a child slave under the Khmer Rouge to a gifted voice of fellow citizens striving to overcome their country's terrible past. Rory Byrne for VOA's Making a Difference in Phnom Penh.